on the road again yeah we're on the road again we are uh, just coming through downtown Dallas right now and uh, we're going up 75 north about another 165 miles before we jump over and we're gonna be well we're actually gonna be heading through God's country through Oklahoma here pretty quick the next couple hours Maddie is piloting this to this minivan and uh, we're heading northbound we're heading to Missouri we hear there's somebody up there roaring and the roar needs to be silenced so let's go All right, we're watching the sun just went down behind Lake Eufaula here in Oklahoma. And we are uh, northbound. We've got about another uh, six hour drive before we get to where we're rolling into. But uh, it's going to be a long day, but hey, they're all long days. All right, we just rolled into Missouri and we're jamming out. Maddie's got her tunes on the radio here. We're jamming out. Singing some songs, aren't we, Missy? Yeah. Boy, am I glad she's a road warrior. She likes to drive and I like to jam out to music. How about that? You like to sleep. Oh, come on. He's been sleeping the whole time. Jamming out to music. But hey, can you got some Merle Haggard? Oh. Oh. Yeah. I think I know every single Merle Haggard song there is. Yep. Come on, you got some Merle? No. Nope. <laughs> Come on, I know you do. I'm the captain of this ship. It's Texas country music. We'll see if we can find some Merle. Mama tried, Mama tried, Mama tried to raise me better. But her bleeding I denied. That leaves only me to blame, cause Mama tried. Is that a guitar? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this morning we wound up, uh, we didn't get in last night till one o'clock, something like that, wasn't it, Maddie? Yeah, it was, uh, I, yeah, 1.30. It, it was late 30. Anyway, Maddie stayed up talking and I unloaded and went to bed. Maddie, what's the name of this again? I mean, it's the hunting grounds is the name of the company. This is the Stony Point Farm. This is the Stony Point Farm. And we're here to red stag hunt. You know, we've seen a few. I've uh, seen some that are broken up and seen a few. And the smell of them. Do you like the smell, Maddie? Uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't want a candle that smells that way, but it is oh. a cool smell. Uh, I like pronghorn smell the best. Uh, you know, I like a, yeah, a candle, a red stag smelling candle. I'd like that a lot. So anyway, hopefully we can get up close and show you one here soon. They say that the leaves just started changing colors here the last few days and more are they beautiful. Driving around right now to cover as much property as we can, see if we can find a stag that's worthy enough to go after him. That's in the right spot, so Maddie can take a poke at him. We got about an hour before dark, it's starting to chill off now. Alright, so we were not successful today getting a red stag, and the bad news is they say that we've got rain coming 100%. Anyway, but the good news is we've got a meal that Miss Sherry right here. There's Miss Sherry. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> anyway, she uh, she is quite the chef here in the kitchen, and she wound up made a spread. We got uh, I don't know what is that. That's you, a potato casserole there. Potato that's casserole and baked. beans and meatloaf and the meatloaf. She's famous for the meatloaf. Okay, <laughs> I mean it is a a wonderful spread. Uh, this house is beautiful. I wanna I wanna kind of turn around and show this thing to you. Look over my shoulder. That's the dining room in there. We're waiting on everybody to show up right now. They better show up quick, otherwise they're not going to have any meatloaf to eat. But uh, what I'm going to do is later on, uh, we're going to go downstairs. The The guy that built this house was a prepper. I guess he expected the end of the world to come or something because you ain't going to believe what I'm going to show you downstairs. I mean, I've, I've been in a lot of houses, but never anything like this. So coming downstairs here at this uh, place where I'm staying in Missouri, this guy, like I said earlier, is a doomsday prepper, or was, he's dead now. Anyway, I guess he met his doom. But anyway, come downstairs and the basement of this house is, I mean, it's, it's like an awesome basement. I mean, foosball, pool table, and pretty nice. And it looks like a normal, very nice end basement. Wait till you see this. 
All right, here we go. I want you to look at this door first off. That door, I don't know how much it weighs, but I'm going to try to show this to you. This is a solid lead door. I mean, solid lead door. And uh, it's got, look at these locks. One lock. Let's see. One, two, three, four. These big old locks that would be able to. I guess lock, lock the bad guys out. Okay. So check this out. Then you come down the hall right here, and there's another one of these doors. I guess this guy was really worried so much gonna kick his butt. Oh, anyway, goodness, that is, again, solid lead on the door. Check this out. Now, you come in this room right here. You gotta have a light through here. Where's the light switch? I had it on earlier. Well, I don't know where it is, but I gotta show this to you. Got a shower here, so when you get radioactive material on you, you can shower off right here, okay? Uh, the light was working, I don't know why it's not now. Then you come in over here, and look at this. This is the air ventilation system up here to get fresh air, so you don't die down here like a suffocated rat. You got concrete ceiling, concrete walls concrete floor look at this lord knows what he was expecting then you come in here let me turn this light on here okay another concrete room looks like an old prison or something you can hear how the audio was all jacked up but i'm just telling you this is a oh it's kind of creepy person i mean you look at it the, Somebody was this worried about, I guess, the government coming to get them if we did with these measures here. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get out of here and keep somebody from locking me up. I mean, this is pretty awesome right here. Okay, come my way out. Could you imagine? Again, check that out. This is a pretty cool place. The only thing we're missing at this point is a red stack. All right, what well, we did not get on this blog, but you can see it back there. Maddie shot a really nice red stag, and if you want to watch that, you're gonna to have to watch the television show or watch it online when we release the video. Uh, again, we're up here, Stony Point Farms in Missouri, part of the hunting grounds up here in the Ozarks. And uh, we've been showing you some different stuff going on in this hunt, and this is like a doomsday prepper place. If you think I showed you something cool last night in the dungeon, wait till you see this. Now what would you think a doomsday prepper would want to have? Okay? Just out of curiosity. Now, I mean, clearly they think it's the end of the world. Clearly, holy smokes, look at there. Anyway, wait till I show you this. You ain't gonna believe it. There's a church. A nice little church with a steeple on it, an American flag out in front of it, and then down below. There's a cemetery. Now, how's that for weird? You come down and look at the little markers here. Whoa, whoa. And then it actually looks like there's a, I wouldn't think they unearthed a grave, but it looked like <laughs> there's a hole there anyway. Kind of strange, don't you think? All right, we're uh, wrapping up here. They're finishing scoring up Maddie's stag right now. And then, hey, hey Maddie. And, oh, do you want to see my earrings? Show them. They're little pigs. Maranos. Little Maranos. Maranitos. I don't think anyway. that's pigs. Yeah, Marano was pig. I thought Gordo was pig. No, Gordo was fat, Maddie. Oh. Oh, and she took three years of Spanish. You can you tell how she focused. I know there's names on there. And then look at look over there, there's a grave right there that's unearthed. That's dug up. You see that? What do you think that's all about? I don't know. Maybe that's where the treasure is. Buried treasure. Who knows? Let's go! Call right back. <laughs> so, we are on the road. I don't know. We just got pulled over, and the lighting's not very good. 67 and a 45. Yeah, 67 and a 45. Mr. Leadfoot here wouldn't let me drive. And we get pulled over, and the cop comes up. He's got on a bulletproof vest, and he's a canine. Camera. Yeah, camera, everything. He's like, can I please see your license, sir? And then he sees it, and he's like, where are y'all going? We told him Hugo, Oklahoma. And then... 
long story short, he was like, how long has it been since you got a ticket? And he goes, a long time. And he goes, I'll make a deal with you. If you show me those antlers back there, which y'all can't see, I'll let you out of it. It was so fun. We got out there, showed him my stag, and just kind of BS for a while. And, and, he, and we got out of it again. <laughs> because of my stag horns. I wish I could have pulled out the camera, but I didn't want to be like, yeah. But anyways, he was an awesome guy. Blue Lives Matter, and he had a canine with him, and really, really nice guy, just down to earth, and we have a lot of respect for cops. All right, we're heading back right now from Missouri. Look at the back, see the red stag right there? Thank God we had it back there because the cop let me out last night for the ticket. Heading to the ranch right now. Got hunters coming in tomorrow, and hopefully we're gonna get a big buck on the ground.